This is a 2021 Hyundai Kona EV and in this video I'm just going to change all three wiper blades. While this is the facelift 2022 model, this video will be applicable to all Konas from 2018 to 2023. The new Kona from 2024 is a new larger car and they may have different wipers, I'm not sure, I haven't seen one yet. So it's a very easy job to do on these cars because they've got the standard hook type wiper arms and what you need is a 26 inch wiper blade for the driver side, a 16 inch wiper blade for the passenger side and then a 11 inch wiper blade for the rear. So why am I fitting these particular wipers? I'm going to put the Hainer hybrid wipers on the front and then a Bosch wiper on the rear. Well if you've seen my videos before you know I favour the Hainer wipers mainly because they're cheaper and a lot of people will buy Bosch and Bosch wipers are fine but I've found these to actually be better than the Bosch and they're about half the price the money. You can buy these on Amazon and I'll put a link to them in the video description below. The link may be to a different vehicle but they will be the right wiper blades. Basically you've got to look for 26 inch and a 16 with the hook type and these are the hybrid style wipers and they're identical to what Hyundai fit on these from the factory. So for the rear I've got a Bosch wiper uh, only because this is the right one, the right fitment. You've got to be a bit careful with rear wipers, they can be a bit tricky to find the right fitment uh, but it's the right size and this was cheap, it was only $5.99 on Amazon uh, and obviously I bought that retail, not in the trade, uh, mainly because I didn't have the right wipers in stock because Hainer uh, don't make an 11 inch, they do a 10 or a 12. So this is an exact perfect replacement for the uh, factory wiper. 90% of the viewers of this channel are not subscribed. I'm sorry to ask, but it would help greatly if you would. Just press the subscribe button. It's free and it shows YouTube you like this sort of vehicle related content. If you want to be notified when new videos are released, please click on the bell button also. Thank you, it really helps more than you would imagine. So let's change this passenger side first and on the Kona the wiper arms don't sit underneath the bonnet so we don't have to put them in an upright part position first. Where they rest at the bottom of the screen is fine to do the job because you can lift the arms there without it hitting the bonnet. So what we've got to do first is just lift that bit of plastic there from the wiper blade and then we've got to push the wiper blade that way to get it off the hook there at the bottom of the arm. So just lift the arm up slightly, get your hands around the wiper blade and just push it that way. Actually this is very loose and then just be careful putting that back on the screen. You don't want to let that drop and slam back down onto the windscreen because it could chip it. So open up the box and get the new wiper out. And then when you're mounting these, this has got like a, a lip at the top of the spoiler here and you want that to be uh, at the top of the wiper arm. You don't really want to mount them that way. Copy what the originals are like. So we get our little hook adapter there and you've just got to make sure that you snap this in in the right position. Obviously the arm is coming from this way and hooking round, so it goes like that. If you put it that way, effectively you'll be turning this upside down. So snap that in the centre piece there like that and then put the cover on over the top lift this up first snap that down and now that's ready to put on the hook and then we've got to slide the wiper this way and that feels like it's on but it's not past the little plastic lugs there so actually you end up really having to put some force on it and you can tell when it's in the right position because it does that sort of second click there and the adapter has sprung back on this side of the loop so that's now on tight and it's much tighter than those original factory ones and then put the cover back down and that's done and then obviously take your protective strip off as well so the Hana hybrid wiper looks like that and the original factory one looks almost identical. These are both hybrid wipers. The difference is the original 
uh, Hyundai ones, I don't know what manufacturer the wipers actually are, but they've got a split here because this is a hard plastic casing over the hybrid wiper, whereas on the Hainer ones, this is more of a soft rubber. So the casing is also flexible. So where the wiper blade then curves around the screen, the casing will curve too. So it doesn't need that split in it. But they're both very similar wiper blades. So let's do this driver side. I already know this clip is particularly stiff on this one. So I'm going to use a screwdriver there to lift that up because I don't want to break my fingernail. And then we need to pull the wiper blade this way to get it off the hook. And again, this was very loose. So just be careful putting that back down on the windscreen. So I've got the new one out of the packet. And again, we've got to look at the orientation and we want the spoiler part of the rubber outer to be at the top. So it's going to mount that way. So we can get the adapter, push that onto the little spindle, put the outer clip uh, cover, should I say, on by opening that first and then mounting that in the right position. That one isn't fitting down particularly nicely. There we go. So you should hear a little click and that's in place. Just make sure it's not loose and you've got it in the right place. And when you fold that down, it expands it and makes it a little bit tighter. So we can now slide that on. So that's now on, but it's not clicked. So we've got to really put some force on it there. And that's now clicked into place. And we can see the adapter has gone past the loop on the end of the wiper arm. So that's properly in its place. Click that down, remove the protector strip, and that side's done. So when it comes to doing the rear, they are a little bit different. You can see here that the wiper blade's torn on this one. This car's now three years old, has done 22,000 miles and clearly it needs changing. To remove the rear wiper, you lift up the wiper arm and turn that wiper blade so it's at 90 degrees to the arm, and then you should be able to snap that out of its position. You can see how they mount, it's just a plastic spindle in there and it sits within this cutout there. And then what you wanna do is check that your replacement wiper matches. And this is where they can differ. The cutouts can differ and the size and shape of that mounting spindle can differ as well. But as you can see, this Bosch one is absolutely identical to the original. And uh, if I had my glasses on, I might be able to read the writing on the original rubber there. But I suspect that is a Bosch one because it is absolutely the same. So when it comes to fitting this, you've just got to put it in reverse and snap it into that wiper arm, but that's easier said than done sometimes. And you need to make sure it's the right way round. So to tell that, you've just got to make sure it pivots and try it. And clearly that's the wrong way because there's no room for that to pivot once that's snapped into place. And you can see the wiper's got two different heights in the outer case there. So the wiper arm is going to be going along this lower section. So lift it up, put that into place and then you do have to often give it a really good tug and sometimes you've got to adjust the angle of it to get that to find its way. So like that, that's now in place and test it and make sure that's not loose. If you got it wrong when you lift it up and give it a wobble it's going to fall out. So there we are, that's now done. So that Bosch rear wiper is a H. 281 and I'll put the links to that and these Hainer wipers in the video description below. So that will do for this video. If you found it useful as always please do click the thumbs up that really does help. Do subscribe to the channel and if you want to know more about the Hyundai Kona EV there's a link below to a playlist where you can see other videos I've made. Okie doke I'll see you on the next one.